So here I am at the off-grid cabin, and what I'm going to do today is I'm going to upgrade my power on my my solar pump unit. That's our RPS solar pump unit. It's a, the 200 series. It comes with two panels. And it's fine during the daytime when, <clears throat> you know, the sun's out and everything, but low light in the, in the morning, low light in the afternoon, it just doesn't put out enough power. Then it goes right to the batteries, which are in this box here. And they work all right, but they don't work as well as, you know, the full power. So I can get charged faster and more power to the pump. So the pump will turn faster and harder uh, if I add two more panels. So I'm going to add two more panels to here. See right here now, I, this is all this is my main solar. And these two panels on the side, 200 watt panels, are just for the solar water pump that has a slow start helical mechanism type submersible pump in the well. And like I said, it works good in most situations, but I just want it to work a little bit better. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the two panels by adding some more brackets onto the side here and putting the two panels next to these two. So there's the other two panels added. We use these brackets here and then we connect the panels underneath with a screw to the other panel which is bracketed down and then underneath because we are on a 24 volt system we use these multi connectors here so this is a positive lead for hooking two panels in two positives from two different 24 volt panel systems one for the positive one for the negative it goes into a single line and that single line goes in underneath one to the positive and one to the negative we turn it back on the pump is, power is locked in, the pump is full. I've got now twice the generating power that I had before on my solar panels. And it should solve some of my low light issues. I have low light issues before where, you know, in twilight or low light in the afternoon, low light in the morning, I couldn't get a lot of power to the pump because it was just running on the batteries, 24 volt batteries, which are in this box here. So I add, that's why I added the two panels. So here's another trick for you if you have the RPS solar, is there's a switch underneath it here, this little toggle switch, which is on battery. And the center is off and to the fore, front is solar. So if you want more power yet, like if you're doing the day for sure and the sun's fully on your panels and you want the most power and the most pumping power, put that to solar temporarily while you use it and then flip it back to battery so it recharges the batteries you know later on when you're not heavily using it so this is my system for pumping water to my off-grid cabin it's been working fine but i've upgraded it to make it work even better so here's something a tip that you need to remember here i put these panels in i just added these two panels here to these two panels here these are two 12 volt panels hooked to 24 volts these are two 12 volt panels hooked to 24 volts and then hooked, you know, together to create 24 volts at my box. When you add panels, you want to keep the voltage within 10% generally. These are like 22 volts. These are like 23 and a half volts. So they're within 10 volt or 10% of each other. You don't want one that's 19 volts and one over here that's 24 volts because then you're getting, you know, you're losing some and you're not getting equal output from the panels. So that's just a tip that you need to remember. Thanks for watching.